Let's go to this. I'll take a bite closer so you can hear the crunch. Right. You all hear that crunch? another episode of Candice Corner. Today's video is going to be a collaboration with this following YouTuber here and the link also would be in the description above and also in the end screen. I, end screen. I will also leave her channel link so you can go check out her channel. Also I will leave her channel in the description or to make it more easier I will leave it in the comment section. I'll pin it in the comment section. So let's get on to today's recipe. And as we go along, I will tell you a little more about her channel. So let's get started with today's recipe, toast toads. And she made my recipe, the patty, the chara, chickpeas patty. So go show her some love. Don't forget to subscribe. But subscribe if you know you're genuinely going to continue watch her channel. Do not subscribe to her channel if you know you're going to go back and continuously watch her channel. It's a lot of healthy, enjoyable recipes she has to offer. All right, so let's get started. So to start, let's go out into my garden and pick some plantains that I had put to ripe. All right, so come on. Come along with me as you always do into my garden. Let's go and take out two. Well, I'm not sure how much of the plantains is ripe at this point, but they were picked from the garden and placed to ripe. So let's go out, get some plantains, and then let's start this very quick and easy recipe. It's really easy, really, really enjoyable. I actually tried it before making this video. I did a test try. I really love it. And we are going to put this recipe together. Let's get started. Okay, in the garden, I have some bananas coming along. And this is the plantain that I put to ripe. And I'm going to pick some half ripe it may look yellow but it isn't ripe it is firm very firm yet sweet that is why i use the one that is more half ripe than the green and her recipe though she used a green plantain you wouldn't want to use a totally ripe plantain because it will mash up okay so i am back from picking my plant is still nice and full, all natural, no chemicals, really ripe and nice, but firm. So we're going to get some nice toastones here. Again, don't forget to check out her channel. The link is above and it's also on your screen at the moment. Don't forget to go over, show us some love. And if you're subscribing, be a genuine subscriber. All right. Thanks. Let's continue with today's recipe. The collaboration video let's continue putting these babies together you can see how thick and firm these things are and they are really sweet really really sweet so come on let's get into the kitchen let's get started all right so i just wanted to show you the two tools that i would be using to put this recipe together i'm going to use this press and i'm going to use this chopper i am using the chopper and not a knife simply because I want to get real even pieces of the plantain because I want to make sure when they flatten they would cook at the same time and evenly so that's why I'm using this so I'm going to put it to the highest which is one fourth right so that's what we're going to do put it to the highest and that is how we're going to cut the plantains and then once they are cut we're going to use the press press them down and start frying so i just wanted to share the two tools that we'll be using you could use a knife and if you don't have no type of press you could put them in a piece of parchment paper and press them gently down all right okay so and if you have a meat tenderizer you could use the meat tenderizer gently to just flatten it down all right so let me start rambling as i said i Let's put these two stones together. Let's go. 
So as I mentioned, you could use a knife if you think this size won't be thick enough. And what she did next, she placed them in some salted water and let them rest. The amount of time that you're going to leave it to rest is on your screen right now. Um, you could leave it for less or more, but it all depends. Remember, it will be salty. And then I am going to pat it dry. When pat dry, I am going to place it in some hot oil. And you're not going to really cook, cook. You're just softening the planting, basically. That's what she did. She put it in and take it out. And then she mashed the plantains down. And then she placed them back into the oil to cook again. Uh, this thing was so delicious. And the sad thing about this, while I cook in this recipe, I keep eating. Every time I finish, I... Anyway, I place some pepper flakes in the oil to infuse it. She didn't do that though. She added the pepper flakes and stuff after. Pepper flakes and salt after. But I infused my oil with the pepper flakes just to add some more spice. So fry them on each side and remove them. So this is what it looks like after it's done fried or finished frying, ladies and gentlemen. Sadly to report, at the end of cooking this thing, before I get there, let me just say, some of them I add some of my coconut glaze. And this was really delicious with it. I tried with this coconut glaze and I also made some just simple with just sprinkling some salt and some pepper flakes again in the finished product so i did some both ways this way and with the um sprinkling of some simple salt and pepper flakes i have to say this coconut glaze really complemented this to stones lovely really lovely and sadly i only had three meaning because while i was frying i keep eating keep eating i was like when i'm done and i was going to explain to you all how it tastes in this clip here So, let me give you all a joke. I am making this recipe. Some point in time, I forgot that I was doing a video, apparently. Because as it come off the stove, I keep chewing it up, chew it up, chew it up. And I am left with just three pieces. I'm uh, joking. Anyway, let's taste this again because I've been tasting it right through cooking it. <laughs> and let's let me share with you how awesome this recipe is and how much crunch this recipe has in it. I'm so embarrassed that I ate all the, of the um, plantain before I finished the video. It's Alright, but that is to show you how good the recipe is. So let's taste this recipe. Let's taste this toast stones. I am so embarrassed. So I like it crunchy. I prefer like it really fry, crunchy, crunchy, and then, right? So let's give it a taste. I'll take a bite closer so you can hear the crunch. Right. You want to hear that So, her recipe, she used a green plantain. I use a half ripe plantain. Lovely results also. I really enjoy this recipe. It's something I will try again. As you saw, I use um, <clears throat> I use the pepper flakes to infuse the oil when I refried it, and again um, I add some more pepper flakes when it was finished with some salt. Can you believe the crunch? And that tosto, this is the first time I've tried this thing. This is the first time I've made it. I found her channel 
and um, actually I follow her on Instagram so this is I will also leave her Instagram information on the screen so you could check her out I found her page on Instagram and I started to follow her and that is how I came across her YouTube channel we decided to come together and we did a collaboration so that is how it's just, so you see how we, we connect with each other lovely so as I mentioned the crunch in it is amazing the taste and the flavor of everything was delightful and the plant it was fresh as you saw me pick it but the crunch I just can't get over how amazing the crunch was on those two stones anyhow ladies and gentlemen don't forget to check out her youtube channel again in the cards above her name is everything homemade with la so thank you all for joining me again as i just mentioned but i just needed to come and say how crunchy that thing was it was amazing it was full of flavor it was just awesome the plus side to that is growing your own stuff at home you know what to have in that so you know how healthy it is or isn't yes and most times when we grow our own provisions and, and fruits and things at home we're not going to use no big amount of chemicals in our gardening. So it's always best to grow your stuff if if you have the space to do so, you know. Anyhow, and my cassava, I see how big the cassavas have grown and the plantain trees that was in my yard, they are growing really, really fast. But we're getting a lot of rain too, so I guess that's a plus. Anyway, let me stop rambling again. Thanks for watching. Do have an awesome day. And again, I will keep saying it. Do not forget to go check out her YouTube channel. Her link is in the cards here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we are finished making our toast toads. And as I mentioned in the video, how really crunchy, delicious, it's a little salt, very sweet because my plant was really sweet. It wasn't overly ripe and all naturally grown. And we got a nice, perfect, perfect toast stone. Please, please do not forget to go over and check out everything homemade with Ellie. All right. Again, her YouTube channel link would be in the description and her channel link also would be in the end screen. As I said, her name is everything homemade with Ellie. Go give her a try. She has a lot of really delicious recipes on her channel a lot of vegetarian stuff so if you're looking for a healthier lifestyle healthier eating lifestyle you could go over and show us some love subscribe if you know you're going to be genuine and always constantly watching her video please we're looking for genuine su supporters all right so thank you all so much for watching our videos she as i mentioned earlier on she did one of my recipes which was the chana chickpeas uh patties so you could go over and check out all of her videos again the link is in the description her channel link will also be in the end screen thank you all so much for your constant support and love bye